Hello, my name is Terry Roberts. By vocation, I'm an educator and have been for over 30 years. But by avocation, I'm a novelist. And because of that, I have a special view on creativity and education. I wanted to invite you to my friend Bridget's art studio this afternoon. It's an appropriate place to talk about a new book, the title of which is Thrive, Why Creative is the New Smart. This book holds up everything we know about the current educational system, both in the U.S. and abroad, and our attitude towards education and intelligence as a standardized machine that pumps out people prepared to live in the last century. And it compares what we think about education these days to what we know about life in the century to come. And it asks among ourselves and our children, who will thrive in the year 2050? In this new century, it's a safe bet that your life, and even more importantly, your children's lives, will be global, volatile, and fragmented in ways we've only begun to imagine. Our children's professional lives and personal lives will demand more resilience and creativity than we've seen in generations. When we juxtapose what we know about the 21st century experience, whether public or private, against what we now believe about the nature of talent and achievement, a new profile emerges of the people, men and women, who will be successful in the 21st century. Here's what we know about them. They'll blend multiple intelligences in ways that might be described as synthetic or even symphonic. They'll be ambitious and focused, but without being self-obsessed. They'll value asynchrony and even seek it out. They'll use their own marginality to generate novel perspectives and new work. And in a way, they won't just provide new questions. They'll answer those questions in creative ways that we can't even predict. They'll exhibit a steadfast resilience in all phases of their life, all the way through advanced old age. They'll be measured by what they produce over the course of a lifetime, not by any static notion of capacity or quotient. Who they are and what they are cannot be reduced to a number. So if you're interested in the future, if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, you need to read this book, Thrive, Why Creative is the New Smart. And you need to start preparing, not for the present moment, because while we've been talking, that moment has already passed, but for the future.